Imagine a vast network, a system of rivers and streams that flows deep within you. This is your circulatory system. It is a transport network. It is absolutely essential for your life. Think of it like the great rivers of a planet. Those rivers bring life to the land. Your circulatory system brings life to your cells. It delivers vital supplies like oxygen and nutrients. It also removes waste products. This constant flow keeps everything in balance. Consider your body. It is like a vast, sprawling universe. Inside there are trillions of cells. Each cell is like a tiny distant star. Each star needs energy to shine. Each cell needs sustenance to live. This system provides that vital connection. This circulatory system is that connection. Prepare to be amazed by the universe within you. At the very center of this internal cosmos there is a star. A powerful unceasing engine. This engine is your heart. It is a pump, unlike any other. It works tirelessly, day and night, from before you were born until your very last moment. It never truly takes a long vacation. It just keeps beating, sustaining your existence. Your heart is roughly the size of your own clenched fist. It is made of a very special kind of muscle called cardiac muscle. It is incredibly strong and resilient. It beats around 100,000 times each day. Inside this powerful pump, there are four distinct chambers. Two upper chambers called atria and two lower chambers called ventricles. Special one-way doors called valves control the blood flow. It powers your every moment. How does the heart know when to beat? It doesn't wait for instructions from your brain for each beat. It has its own internal conductor, a tiny specialized area of cells called the sinoatrial node or your natural pacemaker. It generates tiny electrical signals. These signals spread through the heart muscle. They tell the muscle cells to contract. This coordinated contraction of the heart muscle is called systole. During systole, the heart squeezes powerfully. The ventricles push blood out. Then the heart muscle relaxes in a period called diastole. This cycle repeats endlessly. Lub dub, lub dub. These sounds are created by the heart valves as they snap shut. Doctors listen very carefully to this cardiac rhythm. This cosmic dance of contraction and relaxation must be precise. Imagine great powerful rivers. They flow outward from a central mountain spring. Arteries are very much like these rivers. They carry blood away from your heart. This blood is usually fresh and rich in oxygen. It appears bright red. They are the outbound highways of your circulatory system. The walls of your arteries are thick, strong, and remarkably elastic. The heart pumps blood out with considerable force. Arteries must be able to withstand this high pressure. The largest artery in your entire body is the aorta. From the aorta, smaller arteries branch off reaching every distant region of your inner landscape. These red rivers, the arteries, have a critical mission. They deliver oxygen and vital nutrients to all your cells. Without it, your cells would quickly run out of supplies and life as you know it would cease. After your cells have used the oxygen and absorbed the necessary nutrients, the blood must begin its journey back. This journey is crucial for maintaining the balance and functionality of our body systems. Veins are the special blood vessels for this return trip. Unlike arteries which carry oxygen-rich blood away from the heart, veins are tasked with bringing the deoxygenated blood back. They are the rivers that carry blood back towards the heart. Imagine them as the winding streams that ensure the continuous flow of life. The blood flowing within the veins is different now. It has completed its delivery of oxygen and nutrients and is now on a mission to return for a fresh supply. It has given up much of its oxygen to the cells. This exchange is vital for cellular respiration, allowing cells to produce the energy they need to function. It has picked up waste products like carbon dioxide. These waste products need to be removed from the body to maintain homeostasis. This blood is darker red and often colored blue in diagrams. The blue color is a visual aid to differentiate it from oxygen-rich blood. The walls of veins are generally thinner than artery walls. This structural difference is due to the lower pressure in veins compared to arteries. Veins, especially those in your legs, contain tiny one-way valves. These valves are essential for preventing the backflow of blood. These valves open to allow blood to flow towards the heart. They act like gates, ensuring the blood moves in the right direction and close to prevent it from flowing backward. This mechanism is particularly important in the lower extremities where blood must travel against gravity. All these smaller veins merge together forming larger veins. This convergence ensures that blood from various parts of the body is efficiently returned to the heart. Eventually they form two very large veins, the superior vena cava. 
This vein collects blood from the upper part of the body and the inferior vena cava. This vein gathers blood from the lower regions of the body. These great vessels deliver the deoxygenated blood back into the right atrium of the heart. Ready for another cycle, the blood will soon be reoxygenated in the lungs, continuing the vital process of circulation. Between the smallest arteries called arterioles and the smallest veins, the venules, lies a vast, intricate network of capillaries. They are so small, so narrow that red blood cells must pass through them in single file. These microscopic wonders permeate almost every tissue in your body. The walls of these capillaries are extremely thin, typically just one single cell thick. This delicate structure allows for easy exchange of substances. Oxygen carried by the red blood cells detaches and moves directly into the nearby cells. Nutrients dissolved in the plasma are also delivered in this way. At the same time, waste products from the cells move from the cells into the blood. This vital exchange process is constant and unceasing. It happens simultaneously across billions of capillaries, ensuring that every cell receives what it needs to survive and function, and allowing every cell to get rid of its waste products, essential for life. What exactly is this remarkable river of life that courses through our bodies every second of every day? This substance we call blood is not just a simple red liquid. It is far more than just a simple red liquid. It is a complex living tissue that plays a crucial role in our survival. It is a complex living tissue composed of various cells and substances, each with a unique function. It flows constantly through your vessels, delivering essential nutrients and oxygen to every part of your body. The largest part of your blood by volume is plasma. This pale yellowish fluid makes up about 55% of your blood. Plasma is a pale yellowish fluid, mostly water, about 90%. But this water carries a multitude of dissolved substances. But this water carries a multitude of dissolved substances including nutrients, hormones, and waste products. It transports hormones, proteins, sugars, and fats, ensuring that your body functions smoothly. Plasma is the versatile transport medium for everything else in the blood, acting as a delivery system for essential substances. Then there are the famous red blood cells, or erythrocytes, which are perhaps the most well-known component of blood. Their primary mission is to carry oxygen, thanks to a special iron-containing protein called hemoglobin. Hemoglobin binds to oxygen in the lungs and releases it to the tissues. Hemoglobin binds to oxygen in the lungs and releases it to the tissues, ensuring that your cells receive the oxygen they need to function. Your blood also contains white blood cells, or leukocytes, which are a crucial part of your immune system. They help defend your body against infections and foreign invaders. Finally, there are platelets, tiny cell fragments that help your blood to clot. When you get a cut, platelets rush to the site and help seal the leak, preventing excessive blood loss. When you get a cut, platelets rush to the site and help seal the leak. They form a clot that stops the bleeding and begins the healing process. All these components work together harmoniously, creating a dynamic and efficient system that keeps you alive and healthy. The universe within our veins is truly a marvel of nature. The circulatory system is not just one single loop. It's a complex network that ensures our survival. It actually consists of two main circuits, the pulmonary circuit and the systemic circuit. Each plays a crucial role in maintaining the body's homeostasis. These two pathways work in close coordination, ensuring that oxygen and nutrients are delivered efficiently, ensuring that all parts of your body receive what they need to function properly, from your brain to your toes. The pulmonary circuit is the shorter of the two loops but it is vital for gas exchange. Its journey involves the lungs, where blood is oxygenated. Deoxygenated blood is pumped from the right ventricle of the heart to the lungs where it releases carbon dioxide. In the tiny capillaries of the lungs the blood drops off carbon dioxide and picks up oxygen, a process essential for respiration. This oxygen-rich blood then returns to the left atrium of the heart, ready to be pumped out to the body. The systemic circuit serves the rest of the body delivering essential nutrients and oxygen. Freshly oxygenated blood is pumped from the left ventricle of the heart into the aorta, the body's main artery. It travels through a vast network of arteries and capillaries delivering oxygen and nutrients to every cell. This now deoxygenated blood then returns to the right atrium of the heart, completing the cycle. These two circuits work in perfect harmony, ensuring a continuous, coordinated flow of blood throughout the body. 
a masterpiece of biological engineering, the circulatory system is essential for life. This entire intricate system, this amazing network of the heart, the blood vessels, and the blood itself, it truly is a universe within you. It works silently, often unnoticed. It toils tirelessly day in and day out, keeping you alive and functioning every single second of every single day, from your first breath to your last. It is a constant, life-sustaining marvel. Its importance to your well-being cannot possibly be overstated. Without a functioning circulatory system, your cells would quickly starve. Toxic waste products would accumulate. Life as we know it would rapidly cease. So take good care of your circulatory system. And in return, it will continue to take care of you.